All right, everybody. Boom Slang here. Welcome to my channel. Um, <clears throat> so I just got back from um, going to meet Art, and I picked up some cards that he was holding for me um, last week um, or so, and I told him I was kind of busy during the week that I would pick them up on Friday. Today's Friday, and here we go. And during that time, he managed to get like another 15,000 cards for me. So I ended up with about 20,000 cards uh, for $45. Not bad. And if you look inside, like this is like not the whole case, but here's a case of, I guess these are mega boxes, right? Now, they've already been opened up. So um, I don't know what's actually inside of here. But we're going to find out what all is left in here. There's appears to be a, quite, a, quite a bit of cards in here. So, like I said, they've, they've all been opened up. And I'm sure, like, the um, Tatis Juniors and all them have been taken. But there may be still some, some nice cards inside here. So, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Let me get my glasses so I can read some of these guys' names, I guess. All right. So let's see. We're going to kind of go through them real quick. We're going to look for, like, rookie cards, you know, stuff like that. I'm, like I said, I'm sure there's not. Hey, uh, Alex, how's it going? Thanks for thanks for stopping by. Um, <clears throat> so... I'm just going to go through them real quick because I, uh, I I don't know what's going to be in here. So there's a Anthony Rendon. Justin Turner. So there are some star cards in here. But like I said, I wouldn't expect to find a Tatis Jr. There's a Baez. Fires. Another Rendon. Fam. Max Kepler. JBJ. Hinjin Ryu. Right. Always Bach. Matt Thais. People talk about him today, so I don't know. What's uh, I guess they're expecting good things from him. Reese McGuire, Dylan Cease, AJ Puck, Bobby Bradley, Austin Barnes, Big Air, Big Hair. Okay. And there's uh, Angels with Tommy. Don't know where Trout is. Maybe he had the day off. Who knows? Zach Gallen. So let's check the chat because I don't have my phone with me. Uh, well, not turned on anyway. So let me check the chat. What's it saying? Hey, Shalani, how's it going? Uh, no, they were not sealed. They already they were already opened up. Um, but I basically got what this guy didn't want so i spent 45 dollars and i got like 20,000 cards this time so not bad um the other boxes I, I shot the video on the other boxes there are downstairs so um yeah let me get the let me get my so is my stream laggy guys or what so is my stream lag turn that off and I see Jay's putting up the swirly things. Oh, okay. Your YouTube channel. So I just want to go through these real quick and just see uh, Strasburg. So like he, he said, there were probably at least some stars in here. If not, 
Um, you know, the, the young Mike Jastrzemski. So. Justin Verlander. Yankees card with Judge. DD. I think that's Stanton getting swamped. Austin Meadows. Aaron Hicks, Austin Hedges, hey Cornette, can I tell us how's it going, thanks for stopping by, here's a Juan Soto, so I mean, you know, he didn't, he didn't lie, he just, he said there's probably some stars in here still, but like I said, we're probably not going to find a Tatis Jr., or, um, well, we found a Soto, so I don't know. Austin Nola, Shane Bieber, uh, Jeff McNeil, Jock Peterson, right? Astros, Yadier Molina, possible Hall of Famer, right? Malik Smith, Eraldus Chapman. Eloy Jimenez Gold Cup card, so maybe we'll maybe we will find a surprise card in here. Who knows? Alex Bregman, trash banner. Zach Granke. Adrian Morjan. Mustakis. Max Scherzer. Garrett Cole, Glaber Torres. So they're not rookie cards, but they're still, you know, Kikuchi, Tyler Glass now, Ken Giles, Pete Alonzo, Brandon Belt, Ryan Braun, Cody Bellinger, Joey Lucchese. Roman Quinn. So that was that box. We came up with some pretty nice, pretty nice uh, names out of that. Uh, this box is just full to the top, like filled to the brim. He gave me. He also sold me a a thirty two hundred count box of twenty twenty tops. And he sold me that one for uh, 20 bucks. So that's all part of the, um, the $45 I spent. This one's full to the top. Like crazy full to the top. Guys, don't forget to link your uh, YouTube channels here. So that, you know, if someone's not subscribed to you, they can subscribe. Shalini, I'll be right over to give, if you're here, to give you an uh, administrator. So, um, yeah, there's, there's like a, a ton of cards here. And we all know how hard it is to get get the new, uh, the new stuff. Nope, don't do that. Hold on. Let's do this. Hey, John Sports Cards, thanks for stopping by. Okay. Well, hey, John, uh, you've got moderator and so does Shalani. You guys can feel free to link your YouTube channels so that if someone in the, in the group here is not um, subscribed to you, maybe they can hit you up. So... Um, for those guys who are just getting here, this is part of a um, a twenty thousand card lot that I just picked up, like within the uh, hour. And um, so I just saw these. There was like a couple boxes of these out of the case. How about Trey Turner, Malik Smith again, Chapman. <clears throat> Ramon Lariano, Clayton Kershaw, another Bregman, 
Oh, Kevin Biggio right there. Future stars. So here's um, like father, like son. Biggio and Bichette. Who's this? Christian and Nolan Arenado. Kimbrough. Matt Carpenter. Zach Collins. Palonco. Who's this? Future stars. Chris Paddock. So. <clears throat> I have plenty of subs. I'm sure they're all. They are already linked up. Yeah, you never know. Some of these other guys are still trying to, you know. Oh, there's a there's a uh, Vladdy Jr. card right there. Again, it's not as rookie. It's a Gold Cup card, but still. Sandoval, Marisnik, Judge, the Mayhew. I'm a Yankee fan, so of course my Yankees. Uh, Trevor Bauer. I don't know if you guys follow him on his YouTube channel. He's got some good stuff he talks about. Brock Holt. Christian Yelich, League Leader card, Carson Kelly, Grinchuk, Derek Dietrich, Michael Conforto, Anthony Rizzo, Zach Wheeler, who's now a Philly, right? <clears throat> so, Mitch Hanniger, another Jock Peterson. Estella, Herto Asuno, Michael Baez, Logan Allen, Freddy Peralta, Roberto Perez, uh, Izan Diaz, Elo Jimenez, Gold Cup, Jack Flaherty, Buster Posey, Granky again, JT Romuto. Raphael Devers. There's another Vladdy Jr. card. Jordan Yamamoto, Sterling Castro, the Mayhew, Julio Turan, Ramsey Cano, Jonathan Villar, and Josh Bell. No, um, these cards were already opened up. Um, I just brought them. Here's Pete Alonzo again. Like I said, these were just part of something that I just picked up. And um, Shane Bieber. Figured I'd uh, share them with you guys real quick because that's what I do from time to time. That and I'm going to be gone this weekend, so I won't be able to do any YouTubing. James Paxson. Uh, Trey Turner, I will be up in the Poconos um, at my mom's and my in-law's house. Ramon Lariano, another Kershaw. Third Bregman. Grandal, there's Gavin Biggio. Again, there's that one again. That one again. That one again. So that's like a repeat pack there. Hey, Jason Matson, How's it going? <clears throat> so, again, guys, um, I will give Jason, um, moderator, hey, John, how's it going? All right, Jason, so you have uh, moderator privileges. You can link your YouTube channel so that um, you know, anyone who's not subscribed to you and they want to now and making it easy for everyone to, uh, sub each other up. There's another Chris Paddock. So for you guys that are just joining here, um, this is something I just picked up like maybe an hour ago and, um, I got 20, about 20,000 cards for $45. It's a little bit more than what I normally pay, but it's like all a lot of new stuff. Um, Aaron Judge. And so, why not? At least almost a third of it or more is all new stuff. Whit Merrifield. 
Scherzer again. Cole again. Glaber Torres. Soroka. Jack Kikuchi. Glass now. Braun Bellinger again. Nikhazy. David Price. So... So, and like I said, I'll be going up to the Poconos this weekend. Uh, Jesus uh, Aguilar, Patrick Corbin, and I'm going to try to hit up a uh, flea market up there at the place called the Blue Ridge Drive-In. Jacob DeGrom, Ahmed Rosario, Mitch Carver, and there's a Acuna Jr. So, Mike Fires again. Andrew Benintendi, and see what I can pick up up there. Um, I just know this guy. I met him through Facebook Marketplace, and he has contacts. Like he told me tonight when I was down his place, he says his buddy who gave him these cards here does cleanouts, and he's looking at uh, trying to buy this one guy's um, collection, and he says it's like a million plus cards. So this guy's trying to work that deal. And then it filters down to me after it goes through um, his buddy's hands and his hands. But they don't, they, I mean, they do cherry pick some of the, the good baseball cards. Don't get me wrong. There's a Soto. But they leave some meat on the bone for me. Anthony Rendon again. Jorge Solar. Ken Giles. So... There's another Pete Alonzo, league leader. Sean Doolittle. Mike Tuckman. And so, yeah. That's kind of there's Lindor. AJ Puck. Christian Yelich. Dodgers. Kurt Suzuki. Nick Solak, Chance Cisco, Yuli Goriel Jr., Max Scherzer, Gary Sanchez, the Kraken, Matt Chapman, Manny Machado, another Tim Anderson, whoops, another Goriel. There's a, a nice Scherzer in a, a Fourth of July type uniform. So this is just like one of those, like they had a box. They, someone, his buddy must have had a break. He had a, a case. And I guess he just didn't want the rest of these. So for a couple bucks, I got them. Can't, I'm not going to complain. Um, by the way, guys, and I don't, I don't want to bore you guys, but um, did you guys see on, uh, there's another Soto. Did you see if any of you guys watch um, um, Phil's polls? How he signed a deal with uh, Tops, and he's signing a thousand cards, and he's putting out like four one of ones, um, different colored bordered cards. There's another Pete Alonzo, and how he's having his giveaway if to the people who find the one of ones. So not only was it hard for us to get you know, some of the other higher end uh, tops cards that came out to the retail stores, but these are going to be put in the um, um, archives going to be put in the archives boxes. And um, so now even the archives are going to be flying off the shelves. You want to be able to get them because people are going to come in hoard them up because he's giving away cases, cases of cards and stuff like that. He had a big video Yesterday on his channel, I saw it. I went and figured I'd take a look at it and watch it. And, uh, yeah, I thanked him in the comment section, too, for doing that because he just made it a little bit harder for the rest of us. Not on purpose. I mean, I, you know, obviously the guy doesn't do it on purpose. He was just happy that he was able to. There's Miggy, Miguel Cabrera. He was just happy that, you know, he was able to share the news with us and, he didn't discuss what he was getting um, paid or anything like that. 
I don't want this. A Mike Trout card now. I don't know what you can do with that, but there it is. I guess that's when he signed his big contract. And Alberto Mundesi, Jordan Zimmerman, Evan Longoria, Domingo Santana, and Tony Gonzalez. So, yeah. I watched him in months. Now I won't be able to get cheaper cards anymore thanks to this. Yeah. Um, I, I, you can go there and read my comment. And basically, I put, wrote about a paragraph thanking him for uh, you know having this giveaway. But this is what's going to result from your generosity um, because you're giving away cases of cards and boxes of cards and all kinds of goodies um, that they're going to even hoard those. Shamanaya, Ian Desmond, Mr. Hiro Tanaka, Yankees, Austin Meadows. Hey, that's our first Harper. First Harper card out of these lot here. So Aaron Hicks, Austin Hedges, another Rendon, Iglesias. So, so John, if you're still here. When are you going to put uh, your next video out? Are you going to do something? Th I was waiting for it. That's a Mike Trout. We got a Mike Trout card. Holy cow, guys. I know it's not a rookie card, but I don't know about you, but I haven't been able to get a whole lot of new stuff uh, this year. So, Joey Votto. Um, thought you were going to have your live auction or something. I don't know. I was waiting for that. Uh, Steven Strasburg. Cubs, Bubba Starling, Kevin Pillar, Paul Goldschmidt, and Austin Riley. So, yeah, Art said there was going to be, he said, like, there's going to be some, you know, like stars in here, but you know, we got Vladdy Juniors, we got Kevin Biggios, we've got, you know, all the big names. That's our second Acuna Jr. card. So, there's our second Sanchez card. So uh, maybe they were just taking out autographs and relics. I don't know. I don't know what the guy was looking for. It was Thorpe. Mets. Steven Matz. was a pretty good pitcher. Uh, oh, I was just going to say we didn't see any Otanis, but there's Otani even. So, yeah. Uh, I, I made out on this for sure. So, heck, I might have enough here to do a whole complete set. I'm going to have to sit down and see what I got. Verlander. Arenado. Crawford. Marte. Gamel. Lamb. Marquez. Young. Brinson. Yarborough. Kenley Jansen. Um, another Mercado. Justin Turner. Hunter Dozier. Tyler White. And Michael Basio, Basio, cheap way to build base sets. Yeah, you might have a uh, at least two complete sets. There's a lot. It's gonna be it's gonna be fun to go through now. I mean, because I still have this whole box, and, and I got got all these sitting here yet to go through. So there's a ton yet to go through. Still got these to go through. I went through I don't know, a couple hundred already, so I don't want to bore you guys with uh, with all of this. I'm trying to see if I can pick out the Baez, the good guys, I guess, the stars, superstars. Um, Strasburg, Rendon, Solar, Rendon. Mike Clevenger, he's really good friends with um, um, Trevor Bauer, AJ Puck again, Bobby Bradley, Dale Murphy, or Daniel Murphy, sorry, Kurt Suzuki, who's turned, in quite, turned into being quite a good catcher. 
Amari Garrett, uh, fight your whole team. Austin Barnes. Max Muncy again. Tyler O'Neill. Eric Freddy. Freddy. Matt Chapman. There's Manny again. Oh, there's Fernando Tatis Jr. So we even got the Tatis Jr. card. So, Sonny Gray. Future stars Michael Chavez. Whit Merrifield again. Jake Rogers. So, so I think we've got at least one complete set here. Garrett Cole again. Torres again. Soto again. Glass now. Ken Giles. Pete Alonzo. League leaders. Again. Sean Doolittle. David Price. Mike Talkman. Luke Jackson. Jose Barrios. There's um, Lindor. Cueto. Yelich. Dodgers. Jay Bruce. Oh, we got a shiny card in here, too. Look at that. Nick Solak. Chance Sisko. And who is this? Anthony Santander, but it's like a gold bordered chrome chrome foil card or something. Um, don't see a number on it, but hmm. No number, but it's an insert of some kind, right? I'll put that over there. Uh, Nick Senzel. Alex Verdugo. Another Jock Peterson. Tommy Lestella. Yadier Molina, Logan Allen, Lewis Thorpe, Marco Gonzalez, Gonzalez, Mets, Stephen Matz, Jack Flaherty, Posey, another Otani, that's a second Otani, Annabel Sanchez, Another Mike Yastrzemski, Manaya, Richards, Castillo, Desmond, Tanaka, Kingery. Hicks, Hedges, Alex Young, Lewis Brinson, Brian Yarborough, Anthony Rendon, Raziel Iglesias. Red Hand, Garrett Cooper, Luke Voigt, Mike Mistakis, Blake Turen Trennan, Christian Vasquez, Jake Arrieta, and Matt Barnes. Hey, Rob G., how's it going? Uh, just going through some cards here that I just picked up like an hour and a half ago, baby, probably by now. Uh, Orlando Arcia, Strasburg. Um, And the guy just threw these in. So it was about 20,000 cards for about, well, for $45. It's about 20,000 cards. Goldschmidt, Austin Riley, uh, Verlander. So it was, um, they didn't, he didn't lie. Aron Arenado, Yankees, Meadows, Crawford, Marte, Gamel, Lamb, Marquez, Alex Smith, Chapman, Diaz, Eloy Jimenez again. That's like our third Jimenez. I need to see more Trumps. That's like our fourth Bregman. Fourth Granky, Raul Muto, Rafael Devers, Kimbrell, Carter, Collins, Sanchez. There's our third or fourth Vladdy Jr. card. Second, Bryce Harper, 
second or third judge, LeMahieu, Drennan, Robinson Cano, Villar, Bell, Almora, Dahl, Reyes, Mancado, Cruz, Woodruff, and there's Mike Trout. Ask and you shall receive. And like I said, I'll be at way all weekend, so I probably won't be doing any videos. I won't be posting any. I'll be taking videos if it's nice weather for the um, flea market. That's kind of what the idea is. It's a dual purpose, uh, Max Scherzer, dual purpose trip. Go visit the family that we haven't seen since um, December, since Christmas. We've talked to them on the phone, but we haven't seen them. And um, so we're going to go up and use our best social distancing and all that good stuff because my in laws and my mom, uh, they're like, in their mid 80s and early 90s, I guess. Cody Bellinger again, Lucchese, Andrew Miller, Alfaro, Aguilar, Corbin, Garcia, Robo Garcia, Jay Bruce again, and Nick Solak. And so, um, you know, I'm gonna go just go visit family and. I want to hit up that outdoor flea market. It's uh, the place called the Blue Ridge Drive-In. I went there when I was really young, and that's where I was picking up a lot of my mantle cards, Jacob DeGrom. For like 10 bucks. I was picking up mantle cards at flea markets when I was younger. Of course, I'm a lot older than you guys. So, Javier Baez. Soto again. Hanniger, Strasburg, Rendon, Solar, Glasnow, Marisnik, Sandoval, Kenny Jensen, Brown, Swanson, that's our first Dansby Swanson, Boyd, another Justin Turner, Ken Giles, Kelly, there's, I don't know how many, I don't know, uh, Alonzo's we picked up, Doolittle's, Price, Tuckman, Jackson, Darius, Lindor again. So basically this was a, um, a box, Yelich, a case that he had. And now I'm going to see what was left over and if we can make a just a base set. There's not going to be, you know, there's not one Chrome card that was left in here. So who knows? What is Goral Jr., Scherzer, Acuna Jr. again, followed by Sanchez, Austin Nola, Shane Bieber, JT Riddle, Jeff McNeil, Jock Peterson again, Dominic Smith, Matt Olson. Yadia Molina, Reese McGuire, Omar Navarez, Dylan Cease, James Paxson, and so on. Trey Turner, Cole Calhoun, um, Ramon Lariano, Kershaw, and Biggio again, future stars. Gavin Biggio, if we can get the focus, there we go. So definitely I uh, got some nice cards in here. And um, yeah. Oh, is there any more shiny? Did I see a shiny? I did not see a shiny there. I'm just gonna cut to see if there's any shinies. What's in this box? This is the last box here. So I don't know if there were short prints. How you can tell short prints? I saw an Otani though. There's another Otani. Otani sign. And remember what the collation was to pull out a trout.
Romeo, Rendon. Here's a Tops Now Verlander. Another Soto. Mond the Soto. Ballinger. Junior Jr. again. Sanchez. So definitely the collation. Like they just, I guess as they were ripping them, they just tossed them in the box because the collations are repetitive, even as they just sat here in the in the boxes. You know, they just picked them up and popped them in the box. Gavin Biggio. Yeah, not his rookie card, but still a nice one. Stinks that there's so many are upside down. Whole stack almost is upside down. No one ever not though. Yeah. You guys are getting an idea anyway. That I just yeah. Made a decent, uh, pretty good deal here, even though it may not be a complete set. It's still way more than I had. I haven't been able to get many um, new cards at all, 2020 cards. Um, you know, I usually don't buy into breaks and stuff like that. I have bought into a couple, but Aaron Judge. Here comes the Judge. But, so we did get one... Um, foil card out of it not bad um, and I still have a ton I'm like 50% through or just over 50% through and um, that's what I got like I said I have another video and I'll post the other video that I took of you know like I normally do when I go meet Art and, and talk to him and, and pick these cards up well I just did a, a quick uh, okay guys here's what we got boom Quick picture of the uh, the back of the trunk, and uh, and like father like son again. So you can see there's a it's a pretty good stack of of stars, future stars, whatever you want to call them. Maybe some future Hall of Famers in there, Yelich and Arenado. I don't know what the real big uh, rookie names would be here that we should be looking for, though. Because I don't see a whole lot of rookie cards. Aaron Nola, that's our first Aaron Nola card. Nearest, first one of him, first Schwaber. JBJ. Miggy, Carlos Correa needs to get a beaten, but who am I? I'm not going to be able to beat him. But I like it when Moustakis got interviewed during that, that whole trash can banging thing. There's our first, first Rizzo card, I think. So we've seen Conforto before. Wheeler, we've seen... That he said they all need to get a beat, and I thought that was so funny. That's just talking straight from your heart, there. You know, it's like, dude, they flat out cheated, and they need to get punished. We need to go over and just flog them, like beat the snot out of them, you know, like beating up the bully on the schoolyard. You know, there's uh, David Bote or Booty Boot, Tyler Alexander, Mike Fires again. 
the hero of the scandal, I think. So, it is what it is, though. I just want people to forget about it. Because the season's been all screwed up that people forget. They're just so happy to have baseball back. No, these guys cheated, and that's it. And the sad part is, and everyone knows it, they didn't have to cheat. They had a solid team, and they've had a solid team for years. So I don't, I'm sure a lot of people are perplexed by that too as well. Aaron Nola again. Trevor Bauer. Another league leader, Verlander. Gielich, league leader. Big Chunk. Blake Parker. Uh, let's see. Tyler O'Neill. Oh, that's a different Manny or Ross Manny. Machado. There's our second Tatis Jr. I believe our second one. Maybe we'll find another Trout, JBJ, Puck, Heaney, Bradley, Daniel Murphy, Laurie Garrett, Garrett, Max Muncy, Thorpe, Eloy Jimenez, that's like our third Eloy. Flaherty, Posey, Devers, Mike Jastrzemski, Andrew Benintendi, Nearest, Schwarber, Rendon, Fam. Kepler Kennedy, Marcakis, that's the guy that said they need to get a beaten. Matt Vato, Orlando Arcia, Anibal Sanchez, JD Martinez, Manaya, Austin Riley, Austin Meadows, Marte again, Gamel. Young, Brinson, Yarborough, Baez, Guriel, Azale, David Dahl, Reyes, Perez, Segura, Iglesias, Brad Hand, Cooper, Hernandez, Benintendi, Neris, Schwarber again. There's another Pete Alonzo. Winker, Kepler, Kennedy, Bradley, Culberson, Lester, Van Meter, Robles, Hamilton, Clevenger, League Leaders, Ryu, Bobersbach, Thias again, Tyler Alexander, Miggy, Carlos Correa, Manny, Tatis Jr., another Tatis Jr., Sonny Gray, Ankata, Cruz, Woodruff, there's another trout, and then Voight. So that's our second or third trout, I guess. Um, check the chat real quick. I don't want to ignore the chat. And then, and then, uh, uh, so anyway, sports, hold on. I'll get you um, um, moderator so you can advertise your YouTube channel here. All right, swing away. you got moderator privileges, and you can post your YouTube channel. Can I talk about the art? Yeah. 
I had to stop and get a drink, guys. Uh, talking. Yeah. I don't know how it is where you guys are, but man, it was like, I don't know, 89, 90 degrees here today in my area, Philadelphia area, and stuff like that. Nick Senzel, Alex Verdugo, David Fletcher, Sandoval. JT Riddle, Jeff McNeil, Jock Peterson for the umpteenth time. Here's this La Stella, Tommy La Stella, Rojas. Yeah, I'm not going to try his name. Yadi Molina again, Logan Allen, Peralta, Quinton, Trey Turner, Jacoby Jones. Alex Smith, Earl this Chapman, Santana, Brigman for the umpteenth time, Rogers, Grinky, GT, Arenado, and um, Christian Yelich, Arenado and Yelich. Future stars, Chris Paddock, Marte. BD, there's uh, Vladdy Jr. again. The Mayhew. Ari Garrett. Hollywood Heroes. Is that Ballinger and Verdugo? White, Morjon, Stasi, Mustakis, Chavez, Hernandez, Bauer, Holt, Verlander, League Leader, Scherzer, World Series Trophy Guy, Derek Dietrich, Pavetta, Rizzo, Conforto. Is there Alberto, Braun, Miller, Tolan, Davis, Grossman, I guess. Here's a, another Soto for your Moto. Jesus Aguilar, Corbin, Gray, Peraza, Chris Archer. Yeah, um, Alex, I still haven't gotten your uh, package yet, but it'll show up whenever it shows up. Uh, my package you took to, took forever too, so it's got to get through customs and stuff. Fires, and then there's Benintendi, Rendon, Fam, Kepler, Kennedy, Garcia, Robles, Hamilton, Clevenger, League Leader Ryu. Fogelsbach, I'm flipping again. Haney, Bradley, Murphy, Alexander, Cabrera, Abreu, Bradley, Murphy, Waggers, Pack, whatever, Gallon, Gilito, Fowlers, Chapman, Smith Jr., Feedy, Freddy, whatever. I'm going to try his name, Urania, Mundesi. Toro, Zimmerman, Kipnis, Gunzelin, Goodrum, Senzo, Verdugo, Mercado, Justin Turner, Hunter Dozier, uh, where's big where's big Mike uh, located? See um I don't know. There's a lot of mics, like there's Mike O or whatever. Big Mike, is that his his YouTube channel, his handle? Harper, again, for the third time. Samarja Hicks, Hedges, Cano, Villar, Bell, Bartolomeo, Mora, Rendon. Art selling new stuff now, I seem. Well, so... This is from a friend of Art's who I think had a break because he has all this new stuff. And he has, I have downstairs, 
another 3200 count box and i think it's the same stuff because he said it was 2020 uh, so i can only guess fires again strasburg league leaders rendon solar rendon league leaders fam there's big meat pete league leader Belt, Doolittle, Lopez, Garcia, Jackson, Barrios, Lindor again, Alcantara, Puck, Grisham, Presley, Rodriguez, Garrett, Barnes, Gurriel Jr., Scherzer, Muncie. Almost done. I got this little stack left and we're done with all this stuff right here. Reese McGuire, Navarez, Cease, Paxton, Correa again, Calhoun, Loriano, uh, Kershaw, Angels, Gallon, Gilito, Naquin, Grandel, Mondesi, Toro, Sanchez, Castillo, Desmond, Tanaka, Kingery, and Close Call. Munoz, Muncy, O'Neill, Petey, Urania, Tatis Jr. So we even got like four tat Tatis Jr. cards. So Sonny Gray, Gonzalez, flipping back, Trennan, Vasquez, Arietta, Barnes, Kinsler. Polka, Strasburg World Series card, Julia Damas, and Aaron, Aaron Nola, Pilar, Crawford, Goldschmidt again, there's Yelich, League Leader, Gridchuk, Garcia, Verlander, Savelli, Strom, Lamb, Marquez, Wheeler, Mengden, Jensen, Brown. There's our second Swanson. They left, yeah, they left a lot of decent cards, but they like all the inserts are gone except for this one right here. Now, I don't know what's in the other 3200 count box. They did say that was all base. So, DeCrom, Hilliard, Murrayfield, Rogers, Springer, Swy Stewart, I'm sorry. There's another Garrett Cole, League Leaders, Glaber Torres, Abreu, Hanniger, Soroka, Kikuchi, Glasnow, Giles, Kelly, Lucchese, and Price, Tuckman, Cueto, Demerit, I guess, Yelich, Dodgers, Suzuki, and Garcia, Bruce, Nick Solak, Cisco, Kashner, Rosario, Davis, Garver, Osuna, Neris, Schwarber, Pete Alonzo, Winker, Austin Nola, Shane Bieber, Jackie Bradley Jr., Culberson, uh, Lester, Van Meter, Smith, and Matt Olson. So that's all of that. Woo! That's a lot. A lot of cards there. And a good truckload of, uh, you know, nice guys. Good inserts. Future Hall of Famers. Future stars, current stars, so and some empty boxes. So I'm gonna post. Um, I'm gonna post the uh, video of like the purchase, so you can get an idea of all the boxes that I got. It's not a lot. It's not a lot. Not like what you're used to. 50, 60, 70, 100 thousand cards. It's uh, it's only twenty thousand. But you know, we offered it, and I'm not gonna turn it down. I'm just gonna say, sure, why not? 
And we don't haggle over prices, anything like that. Whatever he's asking for, that's what I pay. Actually, sometimes I've actually paid more um, only because I didn't have change. So he got the rounded, rounded up, you know, this time I had change. Uh, so I gave him exactly what he asked for. Um, and he said his one, his one contact who does clean outs and John, if you're still here, I know you're, you're, you had some mentioned some things about how you would like to do clean outs because you could probably clean up on cards. He said this one place they're looking at doing a clean out on his buddy. Um, they've got like over a million cards there. As, so they're hoping to get that as part of the clean out too. That would be nice. Hey, Truth, how's it going? South B more. Yes, a million cards. Well, so I know, I know what a million cards looks like because I've got over two million. Probably two and a quarter, if not closer to two and a half. But it's a lot. And it takes up a lot of room. So uh, let's see what else. I'm going to put on here real quick because I have had some questions about this. I'm just making room here right now about the um, cards that I have that I'm selling. So if guys, if you guys seen any of my other videos, um, you know, I'm still trying to sell these breaks. I don't know if anyone's interested or not. So far, they've no one's um, expressed any interest in buying, like getting into this break. So I haven't been able to do it. I can just rip them on myself if, if it gets to that point, or I just sit on them. I, to me, it doesn't really matter. And so this is a box that came from the lot number that uh, has the print run of the F face card. Um, this is from the print run that is not like the lot number. So there's no guarantee of the uh, F face card. Um, and this is some 83 clear, I think. What's it? 80. So there's 82 clear, 82 clear, um, $15 and 50 cents a pack. These are, these are um, cello packs. So there's 28 cards per pack. Um, these, the no name, are cello packs. And they're 89 Fleer. And they go for $7. And that includes shipping, guys, by the way. That includes the shipping. $7 a pack for the no guaranteed F face card. It doesn't mean you won't get one, but it, the guy could not, he said it didn't come from that that lot number, like a case with the uh, print number, the date and all that good on it. This one was guaranteed to come from that lot. So this one I, I paid more for uh, versus the other one coming from two different sellers. Um, and these are $12 a pack, again, cellos. And they are um, $12 a pack. And everything, the prices includes the shipping. So if anyone's interested, um, I will link my email um, in the um, right here in the chat real quick. If anyone's interested, shoot me an email, and I'll see. You know, I'm trying to get people together. I'm not going to do the break until I get enough people. You know what I'm saying? Enough people interested to sell out. I mean, no other break that would, would do that either. I don't think do a break without selling out. So, so here's my email. That's my email. And um, I've had some questions about this. Now, this is a product that both um, Eric um, previewed for me on his channel and John did the same thing for me on his channel. However, when Eric did it, I didn't include the... Um, the autograph the random autograph so for this this is like a bulk you know bulk mailer um move them out of the way so this is just a bulk priority mailer but inside 
and I grabbed one that didn't have an autograph in it. That's good. So I've, I've limited it to 200 autographs total. Excuse me. And the autographs are either through, you know, TTM type autographs, but they're they're free. I'm not the the charge is not being charged for the autographs. However you want to look at it. Okay, why did I grab another one and no autograph? Stand by. Where did they go? What did I do with them? Hold on. Interesting. Very interesting. You know what? I'm just going to grab one off the rack. Grabbing one off the rack. Let's see. Boom. All right. So, again, this is like a $8 flat rate mailer, right? So, the, this product I'm, I'm selling for $25 per box. You're guaranteed 200 plus cards. All in unopened packs from like, um, I forget what the years were, like um, just say mid 80s through 1999. I don't have anything after 99. So the random autographs would be something like this. This is something that was a TTM, Jeff Cox. Now, when I gave um, John the one, the preview on his channel, it had an autograph in. Like I said, the one Eric did for me didn't have an autograph. So you just get a random assortment of unopened packs, right? But the total is over um, 200 cards, 200 plus cards. Uh, there's not going to be any duplication of packs, even though these look the same. This is series one, and this is series two. So the wrappers may look the same, but they're they're not. They're series ones and series twos. And I try to include a rack pack or um, a um, cello pack or something, you know, of some kind or another. So that's just one, one box. And we'll set it right here. And, and that there, there, like if you buy two boxes, you're guaranteed not to get a repeat pack of cards. You know, who wants uh, a repeat? So here's another rant, just a random one off the stack. And boom. So this one has get these out of here. I'll just package them back up. This one again has the TTM autograph of Billy Gardner. And then inside you'll see there are some of the same packs, but each box is not going to have a repeat pack. You won't have two 99 Bowmans unless they're series one and series twos. All right, so you got a 95 score hobby pack. You know, of course, I got I got a good deal on a lot of this upper deck stuff before things went crazy. Here's one of those little ones. These are not counted in as part of your 200 plus cards. These are just kind of a little, you know, bonus thingy. Um, some packs, you know, will have more cards from the uh, 90s. Some will have more from the 80s. It just it's really a random hodgepodge but you will i'll tell you right now like i had a you know like case of these so i had to distribute these out i had a case and a half of these and of these i had um a case of low numbers and a two cases of high numbers that so it's like they're in in these packs uh you get 90 tops you know so Although you may look at it and say, well, they're, they're kind of the same in the same box. Um, no one box. If you order one box at $25, that includes the shipping, the $8 for shipping. Um, you know, I don't have a bunch of like Hall of Fame autograph cards or anything like that or, or um, graded cards or something like, like like some of these fancier guys who sell you a box for like 50 bucks or something like that. Um you know, this is basically, you know, a budget type thing. And you can use these on your channel to break, you know, three or three packs per video or however you want to do it. You know, that's that's your call. It's your product. You do with it what you want. 
you know. Um, what else? Some some packs will have stuff like this in it. Random random uh, stuff like that in it. Those are the tops. Um, heads up. Basically, what these things are, they have a little uh, suction cup on the back. Here's the checklist, by the way. If you want to see who you might get randomly. McGuire, Sheffield, Palmero, Franco, Olsen, Sandberg, Jackson, Saber, Hagen, Biggio, Griffey Jr., Eckersley, Gooden, Clark, and Gwynn, Mitchell, Abbott, Reynolds, Canseco, Mattingly, Puckett, Gordon, Worthington, Dwight Smith, and Jerome Walton. So these are randomly inserted. They're not in every box because they only had one box of these, so they get kind of spread out. You know, if you like that strange and unusual thing, you know, um, uh, there are some like 87. There'll be some 87 rack packs, uh, 87 tops rack packs. There could be 87 Dunruss rack packs in there. Um, you know, I. Tried to mix them up as best I could, yet, you know, trying to liquidate my my stock because I have a lot of that upper deck stuff. So, anyway, so that's $25 if you guys or anyone's interested in that. You know, got my email. I linked it once. That's that. If you guys want to buy one of them, just shoot me an email. Let me know how many you want. We will communicate. I have a PayPal account, and you can just do PayPal, you know, friends and family type thing, and that's it. So make sure you guys link in your um, – hey, Tex, how's it going, by the way? Um, make sure you guys are linking your YouTube channels so that in case there's someone, um, someone you know, that hasn't subscribed to you, they can uh, – Get it the easy way, you know, by linkage rather than huntage. Uh, let's see, what else? I mean, I, I can do, if the channel, like if I get interest in stuff, I can kind of do like John does and some other guys do. They just have the little one-card auctions, of which I know some of you guys like hockey. I've been picking up hockey in some of these lots that I've been buying. Uh, some of the auctions I've been going to, picking up like bulk lots. There's hockey in there. Some of you guys have seen it, um, seen them, you know, before. I, I don't collect those per se. I have my PC from when I was a kid of hockey cards from the 70s and basketball cards from the 70s and football cards from the 70s. But I stopped collecting all those other sports because it just gets too expensive and now it's too expensive to collect even baseball because people are just um did i get the email i know you you sent me an email about one of your buddies was interested in uh some hockey cards or something like that i did get that um i'm sorry if i didn't reply back to you on that the, the problem is is like a lot of those hockey cards are really like buried i gotta i gotta dig through and i gotta find them all again and now all my notifications are coming through sorry by the way guys we're uh, i'm at an all-time high for my channel um we're closing in on 800 um subscribers which is great you know we all want to grow our channels i'm trying to do as much as i can to improve my channel also guys if you Check out some of my last videos. I showed you how you can increase um, your channel's likelihood of being suggested and stuff like that. Yeah, we're at 792. That's like an all-time high for this channel. So, again, we hit 1,000. I'm having my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. I'll start linking that again, I guess, periodically uh, during these videos so that people, you know, can still keep an eye on, on what's going on there with my channel. case of cards for 89 bucks no i i may have gotten it but i, I have to check my spam i got really like in, in in my spam folder i got like um 600 600 emails so i'm gonna have to check it i don't go through my emails all that much um especially checking my spam folder i just check out what's not in my spam folder um but I'll have to go back and start checking the other one. 
I gotta open my door because it's so roasting hot in here. I don't have my AC on. Um, oh, and by the way, guys, this weekend, if the weather is nice and I go to this flea market, I'll be doing a reveal, a um, a reveal of my new ride. You guys haven't seen it yet. The only videos you've seen is the the ass end of my wife's car when I go pick up these lots. Hey, make sure you got your but. Bill. And um, so you'll get to see my my new wheels if the weather's nice and we can get uh, into these flea markets. Again, there's two of them I want to hit up this weekend. One is a Blue Ridge Drive-In flea market, and the other one is like the Wind Gap indoor flea market, they call it. And so, yeah. Uh, Pennsylvania is opening up. New Jersey's already opened up their flea markets. I went once and because I was doing a lot of work around the house on Saturdays, my body was just worn out. Work all week, work on Sunday, a lot of manual labor on, on our work on Saturday, manual labor, and my back just dies. I just keel over. And I can't get out of bed Sunday morning and time to go to the flea markets. As much as I like cards, um, if I can't walk upright, then I can't. Um, no sense going to flea market. And yeah. So those of you guys have just tuned in. Um, I'll, I'll announce it again that that um, I know a lot of guys don't appreciate Phil's polls. All right. So but he announced on his channel yesterday he partnered with Tops, uh, Tops Archives to be exact. And he's signing a thousand autographs to be inserted on the fan favorite cards. You know, like you've seen some of the Hall of Famers and stuff like that that were fan favorites. Well, apparently they um, did a deal with him that uh, for a thousand cards, whatever they paid him, he didn't say. But he's putting in four one of ones, four different cards, like the, his base card, but gold, blue, uh, and red borders. And uh, they actually are going to make rip cards for the um, uh, archives, Tops Archives. And he has a rip card. Now, on each one of those one of ones, he signed his name, Phil's Pulls. He did this on his channel. And then he, he wrote his channel name, Phil's Pulls. So it was uh, Phil Hughes. And it, then he put his channel name underneath that, Phil's Pulls. So anyone who pulls these one of ones... Um, He's sent. He's given them cases of cards, boxes of cards, all kinds of you know goodies. He's, he didn't get into specific details. He just said they'll get boxes of cards. The guy who maybe gets the rip card will get um, a case of cards, and he didn't say what cards. But um, he's given away a lot of stuff, guys. So to be forewarned, number one, if you're going to go out and you don't really appreciate uh, the um, Tops archives. Uh, he said 2020, but maybe I mis misheard him. But I think it should have been 2021 Tops Archives, unless Archives comes out with another set, because I thought they already came out with the black box. Isn't that 2020? Anyway, um, maybe it's for 2021 that they're going to be hard to find, guys. Guys are going to be you know, snatching them off the shelves, just like they've been snatching everything else off the shelves before we can get there. So... You might want to keep your eyes out for that. If you want a chance at a one of one fills pulls, you don't have to mail the card back into him. Just show him proof that you have it. So when you do your video, you say, oh, look, Phil, by the way, I got your one of one. What do I get? <laughs> bring it on. Bring it on. And I thanked him for having his giveaway. And then I pointed out the fact that basically you screwed all of us retail guys, all those guys that go to the retail stores to buy our stuff. Um, yeah, he hasn't responded to my comment. I know I want to, thanks, uh, Alex. I want to get to a thousand real soon. Um, that's just like, you know, the first true milestone, like accomplishment for, for a channel. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's your first real step in the right direction. We're grinding, not just me. Everyone else is grinding away, trying to get there. It 
I don't know what's going on. Why a lot of uh, a lot of YouTubers have not gotten there yet. Uh, I've seen more people drop out, like just say, "I'm done with it. Uh, I'm done with YouTube. I'm done with you know whatever," um, and just pack it up and quit. You know, I see more people do that than I saw people hit a thousand subscribers. So, all right, swing away. Thanks for stopping by. Yep, I'm going to keep grinding. So, um, yeah, any other uh, final comments, questions, um, shoot away. You guys know how I like to sit and talk, but I don't want to bore you guys either. Like, um, I mean, I could, you know what, while we're talking, if you guys want, I, uh, if you guys want, while we're talking... Well, damn, I was going to do a, a video on this, but I can do it now, too. doesn't matter. Maybe, I'll put it on the screen first off. Maybe we can get a Michael Jordan SP1. Let's get my channel up so I can see what's going on first off. All right, stream's up. Sorry about the reflection, guys. I'm going to try this. Lights out. How bad was that? Wow, I've seen guys shoot their videos like this, though. That is not a way to do your your videos in the dark. Unless you're doing scary movie reviews or something. Then it's okay. If you want a well-lighted area. And there's a lot of people who give you tips on that kind of stuff. My tip videos. Um, thank you, uh, Yunir, Yunir Guria. Sorry if I got your first name wrong. Don't subscribe. Hello. So, yeah, candle isn't good either. Again, unless you're doing horror movie reviews or something. So, while we're here goofing off, I still have seven captive um, audience members. Let's see if we can pull a um, Michael Jordan SP1. These are the low number packs. Good luck finding them nowadays. They're so expensive before you can get them really cheap. Now, forget about it. I thought that was the same guy. I'm like, what? But it's not. There's Hall of Famer Eddie Murray. There's non Hall of Famer Glenn Adam Hill. Dickie Thon, or is it Dickie Thong? I don't know. It should be thong, shouldn't it? I'm going to get in trouble if I keep going, so I'm not going to keep going. This is actually his rookie card, but it doesn't say rookie. So, interesting that they kind of forgot about him. Luis Gonzalez. Kirk DeCascal, Steve Carse. All right, who's stuck here? Oh, it's the sticker. That's the, the sillies, that's why. So it looks like we're not going to get a Michael Jordan um, SP1 out of pack number one. Well, maybe they will. You never know. They don't say, see now how, how much is taken off, how much money they lost. Uh, and maybe it's a licensing thing, too. Maybe the, they don't want to compete with Tops for that license. But apparently, uh, MLB only gives out one license to one manufacturer, right, for baseball. So are they losing money? Sure, they're losing a ton of money by not being in the business. Even if they were, well, Fredo Cadero, even if they were doing like Pinini and, and not having the license and not showing the logo, uh, in these days, people would be buying it. People would still be buying that stuff. The sticker is Chicago Cubs, the Cubbies. And Barry Bonds. So we have one Hall of Famer and one non-Hall of Famer. He's a Hall of Shamer. He might make it one day, though. No, let's put him up here. Sorry, guys. We have a Hall of Famer and a Hall of Shamer. So when you talk about when you talk about um, Altuve stealing the MVP from uh, Judge, right? And um, how about um, Bonds stole the home run crown from from Hank Aaron? Not too many people talk about that. They talk about Bonds juicing and 
and all that stuff. But let's talk about he cheated Hank Aaron out of that title. We're going to cover him up. We're going to put uh, um, Robin out. Oh, gee, that guy looks familiar. Yeah. Guys, it's not looking good. St. Louis Cardinals. Boom. We got a Big Mac, though. We got another Hall of Shamer. So we got two Hall of Famers and two Hall of Shamers. I think that might be a new catchphrase. I may have just started something. New hashtag. Hashtag Hall of Shamers. I don't know. They should have put an asterisk to his record. Right. Well, you're right. They should have. But, you know, what are you going to do? People don't have cajones to stand up for what's truly right. And that goes all the way back to David Stern. Right. Was he the guy? Was he the... There's a Hall of Famer, George Brett. Who was the... Who was the um, David Stern was basketball. Who was the um, league president or, you know, MLB um, commissioner, Cardinals again, when all that was going on? That guy, he's in the Hall of Fame, by the way. Um, God. And do they sell? They might have. Uh, back in the day, they used to sell them. You can get them at Sam's Clubs and stuff like that. The big, uh, what do you call the big box stores, the Tassos. Um, the windows are open. It looks like rain. Okay. Um, so, I used to go to, um, like, the, the, the Toys R Us, guys. I would go to Toys R Us, and uh, they would have the, like, 81 uh, upper deck, 82 upper decks, um, for, like, $1.29 a box. They were selling the boxes for the price of one pack. It was crazy. It was crazy. I went up to the register with a whole box. I I'm going to pay like, you know, 13, 15 bucks or something like that. And it was rung up $1.29. I'm like, what? So I sent my wife back to grab a box and come up and buy one too. Yeah. But there was um, tons of boxes back then. They didn't, you didn't have that problem that we have nowadays. All right. Yeah, we'll see you later there. Don't subscribe. Um, and, yeah, so we didn't get the uh, Michael Jordan SP. Good thing I didn't waste a separate video on that because it would have been a disappointment. All we ended up was two hall of, three Hall of Famers and two Hall of Shamers. That's all. But a lot of people like those guys, so we're not going to we're not gonna dwell on the fact too much. People still like them. They are still fan favorites, so I give them credit for being fan favorites. Just not Hall of Famers. Anyway, all right, guys, that's going to be it. I appreciate every one of you guys for stopping in, smashing that thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed, which you probably are because you're here, um, and um, for feel, feel free to share this um, video with your friends, whatever. Tell all your friends. Tell your mom. Tell your mom that she needs to get a start her own uh, YouTube account. So she could not only subscribe to your channel, but she can subscribe to my channel. And then look at it this way. If you get your mom and your wife and your kids to sign up, subscribe to my channel, that's that many more entries you get for my 1,000 subscriber giveaway, which is a huge box, guys. Just talk to um, uh, Mountain Gorilla. All right. Uh, he got the 750 subscriber uh, um, giveaway package, and he got four boxes of cards. Um, he's got he got a whole bunch of stuff, packs, individual packs, full unopened boxes of cards. Um, you know, he got. Uh, he gave him. I gave him some older Becketts. I gave him some. You know. Uh, Folders that a lot of you guys had when you were kids in school. I'm I'm older than you guys, so 
Um, I didn't have them. Um, I mean, a lot of other stuff, some Christmas ornaments, stuff like that. Well, um, if you go back and check my videos, um, you'll see my 1,000 subscriber link is in some of the, the um, descriptions that um, you can see what the giveaway is. It's it's like almost double, double what he got. Tons of stuff. It's actually, it, I put it all in like a... Um, two boxes one is a a uh, case box that uh, i bought a case of cards and i put everything into that once i emptied it out i put everything into there and the other one is a smaller box with just christmas ornaments and, and you know fragile i don't want them to get busted some people like those things i don't personally um uh, care about the christmas ornaments so i don't i just get rid of them i give them to people i don't throw them away i give them away I only throw away. I only throw away cards, guys. By the way, I did. I did go through a box of, uh, you know, a uh, box of cards. Now you guys didn't see this video because I never posted it. It's still sitting on my phone. But prior to this purchase, this twenty thousand card purchase, I did another, like forty or fifty thousand card purchase from, from Art a couple weeks ago, um, about two weeks ago, and. Out of all those cards in one box, I had all these bricks. All these bricks. I could build a, a foundation of, of my mobile home if I had one with this. But these bricks are made up of some really nice players in these bricks. Like um, Pedro Martinez. He's in the brick. He's the leader of the brick. You know, there's Barry Bonds. There's like... I don't know if you can hear that. <clears throat> That's the brick. Sorry if I hurt your eardrums with that because I hurt my own eardrums. How about a Trevor Hoffman Hall of Famer? He's in the brick. You know. Um, Juan Gonzalez is part of the brick. There's Barry Bonds, part of the brick. Um, how about Nolan Ryan, part of the brick? Mike Piazza, part of the brick. Um, and I stopped peeling there. But... Uh, Chipper Jones bricked up cards. Um, you know, who's over here? Tony Clark. We don't care about Tony Clark. Um, there's Greg Maddox, who's got his own little brick going. And in with Maddox, Maddox, there's a Tony Gwynn. And a Derek Jeter. I'm sorry. Derek Jeter. Tony Gwynn. And two Maddox cards. There's a, a Bo Jackson. Little brick going. There's some Cal Ripken brickage. More Maddox. Uh, Ken Griffey Jr. brick. Mini bricks, Troy uh, gloves. So there was a couple hundred cards in that last purchase that was all brick. There's a Maddox on the back, Matt Williams, Jay Buner. So yeah, I got the. Now, I did a video and I never posted it. I probably should. It's just a funny thing about me uh, trying to. There's a No More Garcia par on the back of that brick. About me trying to unbrick cards with a heat gun. And I ran, you know, from like a couple hundred degrees all the way up to a thousand degrees. Trying to heat these up to see if they'd come apart. And, um, yeah, the results are kind of fine. Um, but I never posted that video. I did that a couple months ago. Um, but never posted it. So that's what I got. Not everything I get from art is... 100% because you can see I get sometimes I get the occasional brick, but this was a Enough brick. I just needed the mortar. I could have built the foundation of a uh, for a trailer a trailer park so and These were in the trash. I just took them out of the trash to show you guys I got this too I got this came out of that same box you know, some guys like um, 
like these really oddball cut cards. Here's a 75 tops that's got Bobby Gritch and Steve Arlen maybe there. I'm not sure who that is for the Padres. Oh, here we go on the back. Height, da 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 da, hometown. So we'd have to look him up by his hometown. Poughkeepsie. No. Pembroke, North Carolina. But anyway, I thought that was pretty neat. I do set these aside for certain people who like them. Um, can they go in the freezer for a bit to unbreak? Not really. Um, I've tried that before, and that just doesn't work. Um, but i tried everything from freezing to massaging to everything but dunking them in water. Which maybe I should just do a video of dunking them in water and see if you can unbrick them. Like how long you let them sit. Of course, I covered the whole water thing with the toilet paper shortage video that I did. I talked about it, but I didn't do it. I talked about one way of making toilet paper is to take you know stacks of cards and just soak them in water, and they'll turn into a little slurry, and then you can screen that slurry out and let it dry, and it becomes. Toilet paper. Uh, yeah. No, I've got a... Um, but you're right. It's a brick house. Or she's built like a brick house. Right? Um, so, anyway, guys. Um, you guys have my email. If you have any questions about anything that I am uh, have for sale... Any suggestions for the channel? Um, text, I will try to go back and find your uh, your email to me. Um, it might have gone straight to the, um, like the, the junk file. So I'll have to check that out. And uh, I'll probably, I just now, do you guys hear music in the background? So this will probably get shut down any minute because that's what happened last time. They said they heard something in the background. Well, I have my door open. I can hear my wife's music playing. So that might be a cha-ching mark, like a copyright strike or something like that. So they'll cut off the last part of this video. They did that with my granddaughters. I went live on Facebook with my granddaughter's um, dance recital last year and i was live and they shut me down facebook shut me down because there was they were playing the, the the baby shark song yeah i'm like you're kidding me really that is what it is so they shut me down facebook did um do you guys want to talk about uh another error card i found in that other box along with the bricks and that so you guys all recognize this one, right? That's just good old Big Ben McDonald, right? On his leaf card from like 92 or something like that. What is it? 93. So it's a 94 leaf. But this one I found in the box. So it just says Ben, Baltimore Orioles. And at the top, it's been printed upside down with Ron Karkovice, or Karkovice's name. So, different. So this is going to the error book, just because it's really unusual. It's the only one I found out of the whole stack. I had stacks of these cards. The only one I've ever seen in my life that was printed like this. So I'll just throw that in the error binder. And I'll just put this in there with the sample next to it. Like, hey, guys, it's supposed to look like this, and this is what it looks like. Different, unusual, cool things. Something for the error book. All right, yeah, guys. I'm going to shut her down, too. I want to – I'm going to um, – I'm going to – I don't know. Check out some people's streams, um, and – then I'm going to play some. It's the weekend, guys. It's the weekend. I actually went to work every day this week, and my boss noted that. He commented me on, hey, you made it to work five days this week. Holy cow, that's five days in a row. He's a good boss. Oh, that's why I get away with what I, what I get away with. 
Um, I need a day off. I take a day off and he doesn't really penalize me. He's a nice guy. But when I'm at work, I'm one of his best employees, best workers. I work very hard for him and make sure we get everything done that we have to get done. <clears throat> and yeah, I shared these other ones on my last video, the Volpe autograph that I bought for like 20, 25 bucks and the $12 Jeter, 2007 Jeter Mantle Bush card. I think it was in my last video. So I won't show them again. I did find a couple other error cards, but there's something that we already had in the binder. So it's, I'm just going to put it in the binder. Other than that, guys, thank you all. We've been at it for over an hour and a half. Um, and guys, so if you're trying to grow, remember when you, when you're growing your channel and you want to get to that thousand subscriber mark, you also need, if you're looking to get monetized, which at that level, guys, it's really nothing. Someone said it's like 40 cents a month or something like that by time YouTube and all them take their cuts or whatever from you, um, that, um, do live streams as well because your live streams, like we've been on an hour and 37 minutes, but my live stream, depending on how many people are in there, we were up to like 10 people at peak, I think. Um, could it turn out to be like 15 hours towards my 4,000 hours viewed per year? All right, Alex. Yes, have a great weekend. Happy Father's Day to everyone. Um, so live streaming uh, helps you get your 4,000 hours viewed yearly. So you got to do some of them. That's going to help you. Trust me, I know I'm. I've crushed the. I've crushed the four thousand hours viewed a uh, long time ago. Uh, it's just getting to a thousand. And like I said, the monetization is really nothing. Um, you've got to be, you know, in three, four, five thousand category before you start making, you know, any kind of money. Um, other guys do it through Patreons and stuff like that. That's how they, they sustain their channel. All right. Good night, Alex. And, yeah. So, uh, if there's nothing else, guys, thanks again for tuning in. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. Um, I'm going to post another video actually showing all the other boxes that I got uh, today during this purchase. And uh, maybe if the weather's nice, I'll go live on Sunday. And do the flea market up in Pennsylvania. And uh, yeah, with all that being said, again, thanks guys for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for the thumbs up. Um, again, get your mom to uh, start a YouTube channel uh, or an account. Anyway, so don't do a channel. Start a YouTube account. Have your sisters. Have your kids. And have them subscribe to your channel. Have them subscribe to my channel. Have them subscribe to everyone else's channel. And in my channel's case, when I get to that thousand subscriber giveaway, you'll have that many more entries. You know what I'm saying? Wink, wink. So anyway, guys, again, thanks for everything. This is Boom Slang signing out saying peace. We'll see you, Bobby Gritch, in the next one. Hall of Shamers. Good night, guys. All right. Go go see uh, ABCs. I'll be over there in a minute. Got to shut this down and do the quick little edit thingy. I'm just going to let it run for another 20 seconds to get it to the even like minute mark. All right, later, guys.